This is lesson 8E. The next definition is focusing on a contrapositive. So for a con contrapositive, um, if you have an implication, so an if-then statement, if-then statement, the contrapositive is changing the order of the propositions, so it changes the order of the propositions and it negates them. So here's what it would look like in symbolic form. So the rule for our truth table for a contrapositive is all are going to be true except for when you have a true false. So we're looking at not Q and not P. So those have already been negated. And we're looking for all to be true except for true false. So look at this row right here. It's true and then it's false. So that's considered false. The rest of them will be true. So here's an example of a contrapositive. So you have your if-then statement. We've seen this example before. So here's your if-then statement. It says, if it rains, so that's your proposition P, then I will get wet, proposition Q. To create the contrapositive, remember we're changing the order of the propositions and then negating them. So now we negate and change the order. So how we write this is, if I will not get wet, then it does not rain. So I did create this helpful guide for you for the three types of uh, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Here are the symbols. So for converse, and then the helpful guide to when it's true is when we have everything except for the false and the true. For the converse, here's your symbol, and that's your help. These two are the same. All right, now last one, which we just talked about, the contrapositive. All are true except for when you have a true-false. 